What's going on guys? This is Conscience from Conscience Hip Hop. I'm here with my man Oliver and we're just here to talk to y'all today about this upcoming project. We got 7K. We wanted to just sit and chop it up with you guys about the project, a little bit of backstory, and just get you guys ready for this super epic project that we've worked really hard on. Tell the people what's up, man. What up, what up? It's your boy, <laughs> the air, live. <laughs> now, as you can see, we are a hot boxing in this car. We ain't lighting up no weed, but it is Arizona pancake, egg on the concrete, spanking hot out here. And we're in the whip due to um, weather conditions. It was too windy to, to do the uh, interview out there. So we're still gonna do the content anyway. Everything ain't gonna be all peachy and upscale, but we still wanna get the content to y'all. So just rock with us for a little bit. But um, so let's go ahead and get into these questions. We don't wanna make it too long, man. So uh, those of you who don't know, this is the first collab project that Oliver and I have done. So just tell the people, um, first tell them how we met and then how the project came about. Man, how we met. We met almost like, what was it, like three, almost three, four years ago? It was a long time, I know that. It's Man, been a while. It was at the um, Roosevelt Community Church. They had a, a hip hop like service where we, um, we did like uh, lyrics over songs and then that's where yeah, I it was you. gospel, gospel through rap at Roosevelt. Yeah, that's what it was. They picked several dudes to to get together and to write, um, what or to just share verses that they had done that were kind of Bible gospel yeah. centric, and they picked a bunch of dudes to do a, a collaborative set um, on the gospel through rap, mm -hmm. and uh, and and you tell do you remember exactly how we our first conversation? Oh man, how can I forget? Okay, it was a. Uh, I was, you guys were talking about um, music, you guys' albums outside of the event. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I, don't, I think it was you or somebody else mentioned Sin is Deep. And I was like, Sin is Deep? Yeah. Hold on. And that actually <laughs> was inside because we were waiting to test equipment, I believe, uh, for the set. And, um, and you're right, we had been congregating outside and whatnot. But then we were in the, the seating area Sin is Deep was a, a project I had did. And uh, and then, yeah, you were sitting kind of a row or two up. Yeah. And you looked over here <laughs> like, yo, is that you? And I was uh, like, oh. yeah. Which is crazy to me because I hadn't heard anybody who knew of the more underground projects that I had done at the time. So I, he almost even stunned me because, like, <laughs> when he was like, "Did you do Sin is Deep?" I'm like, "Oh no, did I? Did I do Sin is Deep?" <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that sparked a conversation there. We started talking about stuff. I didn't even know who Oliver was at the time because Man. I didn't even know him through churchy functions. And he found out later he lived quite far from me. But, um, yeah, man, so that sparked that. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, I found out he did the memes. He had the meme game on lock. Um, we were just really, I mean, from Jump Street, we've been really similar as far as, like, our passion for the gospel, not trying to hold anything back going hard for the kingdom, building up dudes, being studied up in the word, built up in truth. You're on the apologetics tip. And so uh, we're the same, around the same age. So that was, that was, it, it's been really easy, wouldn't you yeah, say, for, for us, sure. for the chemistry. Absolutely. Um, and you guys will notice that on this project as well. Um, now, do you recall how we, um, how this project came about? Man, so... We were thinking about doing a collab tape for like a good while. Like, yeah. Man. Even just making music at all. Yeah, it was it was a good man. I want to say almost like a year, low key. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we was just thinking about it for a while, and then I can't remember what I was doing, but I just was thinking about just the times that we live in, and then I was thinking about uh, that verse in Kings. And it talks is um, God talking to I believe it's I can't remember which prophet but Elijah Elijah and he was saying Elijah was all sad and depressed and God was like don't even trip I got seven thousand soldiers ready to go mm -hmm. in these in these last days so yep. it was just like man we still in that type of vibe you know like it's the just the way the church is going yeah and just not many people was really about that life so. We the 7K. We the last man standing. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and we'll break that down a little bit more, but we kind of always been on that tip of like, man, the world's going to hell. Like, Pretty much. <laughs> like, like <laughs> just, just not shocked, but still shocked at the buffoonery that goes on in and outside the church. Mm -hmm. And, um, and just how music in general has always been moving towards specifically with the church. Um, I don't want to say towards not being filled with truth, but there's a lot of, especially in the younger culture, but even in the old head sector, no one's really exempt, but just there's this, there's this desire to want to reformat the gospel in a way that's not threatening to people. And, uh, and in reality, when you know what the gospel is, it's extremely confrontational because it challenges what people build their whole identity and lifeblood around, which is things themselves, other, you know, various idols. And so um, we've always been chopping up about just the depravity of the world, how thankful we are to be saved. And uh, it was only natural that an album come out from that because we had been saving beats. I had heard his music. I was a big fan. I had a quite a, a catalog talking about things that we had been, you know, chopping it up about for quite a while. And so it was only right, you know, a matter of time, we had a, some beats collected and we're mm -hmm. like, yo, you know what, just screw it. Yeah. Let's not really make the singles tracks. We got plenty of ammo here. We decided to do the short project for you guys because it, it just made it all the sense in the world. So uh, that's how we met. And that's how y'all are getting a 7K project. So as um, Oliver, AKA Verse, was um, kind of breaking down a little bit on the previous question, um, Elijah, uh, as a prophet in the OT, um, he, he existed in a time of crazy idol worship, and um, and all hell had went loose, <laughs> so to speak, um, because people were just super caught up in idol worship. And so uh, there's a classic scene where Elijah challenges the prophets of Baal and uh, the, the test, the, the testing of God was put on display where God basically, um, you know, burnt up the, uh, I think they grabbed like some chain, yeah. some, some wood and buffalo or something. Yeah. And, and he had challenged to see, okay, y'all make your, your gods disintegrate this stack right here. And after like a day or so, they started like self mutilating yeah. and doing all this crazy stuff right. because the uh, their gods hadn't performed this miracle in front of the town. And uh, when God, when Elijah called upon God, not only was everything uh, just consumed in fire, even down to the last drop of water. Um, and so God was put on display there during this time where just extreme idol worshiping um, and just foolishness people who are extremely hellbound and so as he talked about um when god said that there was a reserved seven thousand people still holding it firm um you know worshiping god acknowledging god for who he is and serving him um we just kind of felt like taking a concept of that not as explicitly tied to the biblical passage but just the concept of that the world is just going downhill in worship of idols and uh, somebody's got it. God's always in the business of using a, a narrow few to carry out his purposes and plans. And we kind of felt that we were a part, you know, we are a part of that, but just bringing that to light in an album of that, like who's actually out here really pushing for the gospel? Who's not just doing stuff as a hobby, especially in the music scene, who's not just kind of lightly sprinkling the gospel on things that they're doing, but have a passion for communicating truth in a truthless world. Even in the church, a lot of guys just simply aren't equipped because their elders and their leadership have not set up um, a, 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 an environment that invites the culture of all things God's word. And so what would it look like to create an album that communicated that truth in a really aggressive way, as opposed to a lot of the light stuff we had, have constantly been hearing and have been hearing evolve at scale like crazy. So um, with that being said, what can people expect musically uh, on a project? How would you describe the, the sonic palette of this project? Man, sonically, a lot of dope beats and a lot of Jesus bars. Like, that's how I've always been. Um, just real upfront with it. Like, no, when you listen to the music, you're going to know it's Christian hip hop. 
you're yeah, not yeah. gonna be like, hmm, I wonder if this is Christian hip hop or is Yeah, it? and let's let's talk about that for a second because you know, I've talked to a lot of cats who have said that I was even with my boy in Palm Springs the other uh, couple of weeks ago or so. And, you know, he, he doesn't explicitly believe in Jesus Christ uh, as the God overall and the only God. But um, he 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 kind of takes in a lot of different studies and he, mm -hmm. he you know, and um, he had he, he had basically made the case of like, well, you know, Christian rap is much bigger than you guys have put it in an envelope to be. And and at the end of the day, for me, it's like, who gets to define what, what Christian hip hop is? When you put the God banner over the music, the music, my definition of Christian hip hop is simply music that emphasizes, points to, it has the aroma of all things God centric, God glorifying, God's truth, God's world all with a, a lens that is God-centric and Bible-centric and mindful of God in all things. And so it doesn't have to be explicit, but even in the cases where it's not as explicit, the aroma, the pointing, the, the, uh, the backdrop that you're painting should clearly communicate to people that you're concerned with the glory of God. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and in a world that is doing all kinds of encouragement and enlightenment truth type stuff where they're borrowing the things of God and, and not putting God's name and glory on it, but putting something else on it. Why would you not want to make that distinction? Why would you want to get thrown in the category of conscious music or Positive uh, positivity music. or you know what I mean? It, it just it waters down and lacks all things that are redemptive in the gospel which is that jesus is saving mm -hmm. um and that's the only thing that matters if you're lifeless without christ um it don't matter how much truth you've consumed you've you've consumed the wrong the significant truth <laughs> that 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 matters there so um yeah you know i would say the album's like dark you know for the most part it's got a seriousness to it <laughs> a grit to it it's in your face it's confrontational <laughs> it's bumping your brim um, the beats knock. We know that they oh, they yeah. got a slap. Always. Um, you know, it, it, we've got some some happy esque glimpses in there, but overall, it's the world's going down, man. We, <laughs> you know, it, it's it's an epic movie. We we made it cinematic. We picked tracks that highlighted that vibe. And even though this is a shorter project, it's only five records. The way we've intro and outro and transition through the project. You know, it's about a 25 to 30 minute project of just pure epicness. It's mm -hmm. just, it plays out like a short film, to be honest with you. And the visuals that we're trying to use to communicate that are, are I think, doing their job and they will more so as it comes. Any other thoughts that you have on just the sonics of it that I, I left out? The beats slap, it's darker, truth heavy, God bars all day. Um, confrontational Man. am I missing anything I think you hit it all on the head you know y'all know what time it is it's you time do. for Jesus it is <laughs> it is man it's super it I'm all and and again like this isn't a knock on y'all who make something similar to this or just other but we just feel there's a hole man we're just here to fill the gaps and uh so we, we, we know what we're trying to go after on this project is something that we haven't heard much of. So that's something that you can be excited about. So we're excited for y'all to hear it. All right, so, you know, we're in a different place in music. There's a lot of cats just it's all about volume how much music can i make how do i get it out there frequently less long albums more short spurt projects a lot of young talent coming into the game now that there's more access to doing everything from the computer and social media and the iphone as you guys can see we've got the iphone video on fleek right now um so so yeah man like what would you, i want you to start this off what would you say that i mean we've already alluded to like what the album provides but like if somebody was on an elevator with you and they were like, man, what's the difference between this and everything else out in CHH right now? Mm, I like how you formulated that. Well, it's kind of plays on what we discussed a little earlier. And 
the main thing is that it it forces you to do something and that's what the gospel does it forces you to either repent and follow jesus or mm. harden your heart mm. so i think with this album it the way that the songs are lyrically like you can't just listen to it and not feel some type of way like you're gonna feel some type of way either you're vibing with it because this is the truth and i love it or you're gonna feel like man they're talking about some deep stuff like, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> so it's like yeah it's, it's, that's, what that's it interesting is. the way you put it because take the take the words out of the project like as far as the the meaning and everything just the energy of the project when you listen to it is very aggressive mm -hmm. like it evokes emotion you know i don't know of a single record that doesn't make your body jump make your mind and then you add the truth on that mm -hmm. and it's like not confrontational in the sense where it's like challenging your beliefs which it is but just the aggressiveness to which we're rapping and the type of production that we have, it is challenging. Like, how it's almost like if you've seen an accident in front of your eyes, could you just stand there? You know what I mean? And yeah. so that I'm, I didn't even think about it that way. Like, if you hear dudes just aggressively rapping about how great God is and how hellbound the world is, and 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 doing it over, you know, intense lyricism, complex wordplay, you know. Um, deep metaphor and and just and the beats wild and crazy hooks like how could you not respond that's an interesting way of putting it man yeah because i was listening to it and i was just like for myself when i listen to the music it's like it's dope you know because i'm already saved and sealed right but then when i think about it in the shoes of somebody who's not saved i'm like oh boy like this yeah. is some heavy duty artillery yeah, like take in Wow. Yeah, and I'm like, like right now, you know, I'm talking with a homie of mine who's locked up, and, you know, he's always asking me, like, like what would be a starting point for somebody who's never encountered the gospel before, like, and they want to see out, seek out God, but they're not quite sure about Jesus yet, like, what do you do? And the answer is simple. Is I mean. You can tell people like, oh, you do life with them. And then when you find a right time and a right place, you kind of sprinkle it in. You might say that and it's like, yo, there's a time and a place for that, no doubt. But like the heart's urgency to to see somebody saved is solely based off of how real hell is to them. You know, what I mean, if you take hell seriously, if you take the the the, the sweetness of time seriously um there there's not a second to waste and so you know people need to be confronted with the truth man i mean at some point the reality of who god is whether you slowly work your way to it or whatever first off god has to initiate change in a hard heart so you, so nothing crafty you do can ever evoke a hard heart being made soft so let's just get that straight up clear. So so that should free you to even furthermore be aggressive. It doesn't mean you're smacking dudes across the face, right. but just not waiting around on your computer, waiting around for the right work meeting or the right time where the person's going through tragedy or no, nah, just straight up call your dude. Yo, let me just get this out the way real quick. Like, what do you think about Jesus? Yeah, you know what I mean, and and so, yeah, man. Like, for the non-believer listening to this project, like, yo, I I strongly encourage you. If you haven't even heard anything that we're about yet, like, listen to the full story. Like, if you want to be softened, like, we have tons of material. Um, but at the end of the day, like, the truth of God is the truth of God, and it's it's confrontational. It's extremely confrontational. It'll challenge everything that you believe in. But it's the it's the it's the treasure. It's the real treasure, man. So you, you can't get around that to some extent. You know, I really do believe that God um, appoints times and seasons for all people to, to press into other people with the gospel. But like, you know, that doesn't mean we can't urge others to be have walk with a certain urgency as well. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree there? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so I think you hear this album, you think, wow, they, they rap with an urgency. 
that something needs to happen. Something needs to, people need to be saved. People need to wake up. Christians need to get more active. Um, and I think that's what we bring to the table. So as far as content goes after this, man, Lord willing, I got to say Lord willing, <laughs> it's about to be live. I got me my microphone, laptop ready, so I'm trying to get this music out. Um, I have a lot of stuff written, a lot of stuff written. It's just- I didn't even know that. Yeah, a lot of stuff is written. I just, you know, waiting, getting better at the mixing and stuff like that, right? You know. Mike do all the mixing. He he the mastermind behind that. <laughs> so, you know, but yeah. So I'm um, Lord willing, a lot of music to come. Uh this project really I feel like it's a launching pad. And um music, more memes, you know. I've been I've been, you know, off the gram a little bit, been busy, but you You're know. like a bear. You know, a bear will hibernate. Yeah. You come out swinging, though. Yeah, so I got some things in the works, man. So, yeah, be prepared. I'm just... And hopefully we get um, the uh, a video to Fleet. Oh, yeah, that's coming, too, man. I'm, I'm working on it. It's, yeah. it's coming. It's yeah, coming. so a lot of y'all don't know, man. You know, the life of an independent is crazy because self-taught, self-made. So self-disciplined as well so oliver took on you know he's been doing the meme game for a while but he's been kind of up in his game by taking on new video and animation endeavors and things like that so uh, a lot of y'all don't know that's probably that has to be your first music video for crash dummy yeah that was the first thing i ever like just yeah. first so. so so that meme style of just quick transitions and effects and all that like he's familiar with it but it was a whole new a whole new endeavor to make that video and so um y'all should definitely check that out if you haven't the crash dummy music video is absolutely dope um I, i've got a couple of friends who've hit me up who've just been like man this was awesome uh, a couple people who are like what is this <laughs> <laughs> but that's expected you know just because it's 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 hardcore but um but yeah man so as far as what i got going on as y'all know my brand conscious hip-hop you know it's it's a video and, and photo vault of all things that I recommend and I enjoy. It's just my whole page is surrounded by things that I am encouraged by and I like, and you guys can buy into that, you know, by just checking out my free content. Um, and I always share, you know, a big part of my life is the gospel. So that's fused all through that thing. Uh, Christian art, Christian MCs, Christian, uh, all things Christianity, Bible, scripture, uh, talking through things, highlighting and showcasing different things going on in the world. Um, and then my life, my private life with my wife and my son, you know, I like to showcase that too, just cause you know, I'm a human being. I'm not just out here going hard yeah. in, in one thing. So I like to try and give as much perspective as possible. Cause I feel like it just puts a practicality to all the things that I've been advocating. And it puts a realness to the things I'm saying. You know, it's easy for a lot of guys to preach and kind of do the the Monday mantra, so to speak, with their social media. But um, I'm really trying to share things with you guys that I'm encouraged by personally. So that way I have a real testimony about it and I'm not just speaking on it. Um, so, you know, I've got the scriptures constantly flowing daily uh, to keep people in the aroma of God's word and, and seeing just God's goodness and God's character and what the assessment that God has in the world. I've got my music, I've got other local artists, I've got memes that he's doing that kill me. So I'm posting that too. Um, and then life with my family, I got the merch line coming pretty soon. Um, all the demos are done. So now I just gotta roll out the first campaign of, of merch um, as far as, it'll be uh, shirts and dad hats to start. But uh, more announcements to come on that later. But yeah, as far as the 7K things going, we're gonna try to highlight the bars by doing like lyric breakdowns. We've got this interview and a bunch of video content. Um, I'd like to do some phone conversations of us just talking through some of the early stuff that brought these songs about. Um, I'm gonna show other people who have been listening to the album, which he don't know about. I'm gonna show Kat's assessment of the project. Um, 
and just dialogue, man. We just want to keep putting out content on this and then having that pivot off into his meme stuff and other stuff he's passionate about, my albums and other stuff I got going on. And we just want to, this is a small blip on the radar of just this whole storyline of this year of stuff we want to do. So um, we're really appreciative uh, of appreciative of just the attention and the engagement yeah, um, sure. we want to start conversations that get people trying to live with intention uh, with some intention and some seriousness about the glory of God of being in all things you know whether we eat or drink um, yep all to the glory of God so we want to push that envelope musically um, on the social media platform where you guys are just saturated with distracting content um, some good a lot bad um, we want to just kind of be a voice out there for you guys to be refreshed in the gospel, encouraged, and just educated on the mm. arts and different things going on. So um, with that being said, and, and we'll just kind of um, end here. Um, yeah, that's a good part to end. We'll switch here. All right. Um, I just wanted to add one thing. Um, the key word that you mentioned was the practicality. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of Christians, they miss that practicality of life and that's something that I really feel strongly about you know as I grow as a Christian it's just like you know sometimes believers they they make things too just too extra you know what I'm saying and, and yeah it becomes and, about the culture about the the perception not the reality that and just like just the things like things that people believers tend to get sucked into is just not practical to real life and it's just mm. like bro you don't have to do all that like right you don't have to do that mm -hmm. and you're still good you know so that's that's a really huge thing too i think is just practical living practical things for daily life you know i think that's 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 huge too Well, a lot of y'all already know, but I go by Breath of Air Testimonies on Instagram. Um, on Twitter, it's Breath of Air Test because it can't all fit. But Breath of Air Test, <gasps> <laughs> yeah. So you I can, got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can find me by you know a brief search of Breath of Air Testimonies. Same thing on Facebook, um, and then my personal page on Facebook is Oliver. Um, so yeah, that's how you can find me. Dope, man. Yeah, man, for, for the memes, the cool videos, apologetics, health, and fitness. Yeah. Um, he's got a wifey now for all y'all who, yeah. who don't know, man. <laughs> he's got that ring on tight. I see it. <laughs> um, so he's got a lot going on, and we are always talking and trying to find ways to cross-collaborate. So um, we hope this project is just a small piece to a, a, a lot of content that we're going to do in the future. For myself, uh, I'm at Conscience Hip Hop. That's spelled Conscience, not uh, Conscious. <laughs> that always uh, got me. <laughs> that, that I O U S. People love saying Conscious. It's spelled Conscience. Conscience. Uh, so ConscienceHipHop.com. That's my official website. At Conscience Hip Hop on Instagram. Uh, I'll soon, once I hit like 10 more subscribers, have the official custom YouTube channel. Uh, which will be Conscience Hip Hop for now. You just type Conscience Hip Hop on YouTube and you'll find my stuff um, on Facebook, Conscience Hip Hop as well. So we got a lot of stuff coming, man. We're excited. Hit us up, man. Just let us, you know, engage. You know, it's cool to, if you're encouraged at all in any way, shape, or form, Absolutely. take the five seconds to tell us what you were impacted by. Even if you heard something, you're like, ah, oh, it didn't even sound quite right. We're super accountable to that. Um, we'd love to, to, there's even times people have hit me up. I've realized I've said something I shouldn't have said, or like should have thought through something better. And I'm educated and I'm humble enough to come back and be like, yo, this is what happened. And so we just want to be transparent. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, don't be afraid to hit us up, man. Any kind of critique, if y'all are feeling it, you know, and let us know what you think about this upcoming project, which will be out really soon. It's called seven K by conscience and verse. And, um, Yo, we're so excited to present it to you. So thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Peace. Peace.